This section will detail the setup of the tri-lock pallet and stop block on automatic presses with front and rear screen frame holders. If you have a press with side frame holders, you can skip this section. M&R presses are registered and rechecked when installed by M&R service technicians. If you doubt your press's registration, you should have it checked by M&R service technician before using the tri-lock system. Before setting up the tri-lock system, it is important to ensure that the press is calibrated. The micro-adjusters should be centered and locked down. The pallet locks should be adjusted to provide a tight lockdown of pallets. Pallets should be level. If your pallets require leveling, consult the operator's manual for your press. Be sure to check for even tightness of all the leveling bolts. Check the press for consistent screen off contact. It is important that the screen holders are set parallel to each other so that when the frames are locked down, they are held flat and secure. Most current M&R presses equipped with rear micro-adjusters have a locking disc that holds the rear frame holder rigid when the micro-adjuster is not being used. It is important to check these locks for tightness. The rear frame holder extrusion should have no play or wobble in it. Any play in the rear frame holders during the tri-lock setup can directly affect registration accuracy. If you are using an older press without rear micro-adjuster locks, the locks can be purchased through the M&R parts department. Some M&R automatic presses are equipped with a frame airlock pressure regulator at the base of the machine. Remove the lower cover to access the regulator and set the regulator between 100 and 110 PSI, or 6.8 and 7.5 bars. On presses equipped with front and rear frame holders, tri-lock pallet location is based on the position of the front frame holder. Choose one print arm and remove the standard print pallet. Mount the tri-lock pallet in its place. Do not tighten the pallet locks at this point. Manually index the tri-lock pallet under the print head. Align the tri-lock pallet's front stop block just to the inside of the front frame holder's vertical inside edge. Raise the lower carousel into print position and fine-tune the tri-lock pallet position. There should be a gap of 1 quarter to 3 eighths of an inch, or 6 to 9 millimeters, from the inside edge of the front frame holder to the face of the tri-lock pallet's front stop block. Drop the lower carousel and manually index the pallet back to the open station. Lock the tri-lock pallet into position by tightening the yellow locking handle securely. Loose locks will allow the tri-lock pallet to shift, causing a loss of registration accuracy. Loosen all four bolts on the yellow tri-lock pallet stop block and position it behind the pallet on the pallet support arm. Then slide it forward to contact the tri-lock pallet. Tighten all four bolts. Depending on the height of the pallet leveling system, the yellow pallet stop block may contact the pallet or slide under to contact the lower pallet extrusion. Either position is acceptable. Load an appropriately sized screen into the frame holders. Manually index the tri-lock pallet under the print head. Then push the screen to the rear and to the right. Raise the lower carousel into the print position. Pull the screen to the left and toward the front frame holders until the frame contacts all three stop blocks on the tri-lock pallet and engage the airlocks. Make sure there's adequate clearance on the vertical edges of the front and rear frame holders. There should be a gap of 1 quarter to 3 eighths of an inch, or 6 to 9 millimeters, between the frame and the vertical inside edges. If necessary, adjust the rear frame holder to achieve correct clearances. Tighten the frame holder locks securely and repeat this process on each printhead. 